this is Vishal Sarkar. Welcome to another episode of The Confident Expert. And recently, I was in this invitation that I went to, uh, to attend. And basically, I was eating a lot. You know, we, I love eating. If you love eating, honestly, make sure you subscribe to the channel. Uh, I love eating in, in different places, especially when the food is great. I was eating. And then, toward the end, the dessert time, right? That's when the rasgulla, the ice creams, and everything is coming up. And I was like, man, I'm excited right now. Bring it on. And the dessert was not good. It wasn't good. So see, I went there, I was washing my hand and people, some people were like, yeah, the food was good, no? And some people were like, the food was not good. And I was like, yeah, the food was not good. But the reality is that the food was good, the dessert was bad, but because of the ending was not powerful, the entire presentation got sucked up. In the same way, when you are presenting your ideas to people, you can have a great presentation, you can have a great engagement and connection, but understand that that if your ending of your presentation is not right, um, people will absolutely not forgive. And people will think, yeah, it, it was not strong, it was not confident, it was not good. So there are three things that your presentation ending must have. Number one, it must be powerful. Okay, powerful. What do I mean by that? Well. Powerful means that you want to end in a way that is that is really like people like whoa that was strong Your presentation ending right now is that strong if not make it powerful make it strong number two your presentation ending must be Punchy punchy Pun what do I mean by punchy? It should be something that people remember it shouldn't be something like Thank you very much. It was nice speaking to you. No, man, just do something punchy. Get their attention and let them know that you deserve more attention and interest and respect and recognition because you are impossible to ignore. And the third thing your presentation ending must have is persuasion. Do people know what they should do after your presentation is done? Because if they don't know, they don't know, right? So you can have a great presentation in the in the beginning, great introduction, everything else. Listen to the sound of the flight. I love things because this is real and raw, right? I don't want to, you know, just make anything scripted. This is how presentation works. When you're giving a presentation, things like that happen. Maybe the PPT goes off. How do you handle situations like that? That makes an impression toward the end. So your presentation ending must be powerful, punchy, and persuasive. Once you do that, I can tell you that you will absolutely be loved by your audience. You will have a lot of influence and people will be impacted with your speech so when the next promotion comes you are that person when the next opportunity comes you are the person when the next anything comes you are the person and when you go back home and tell your wife honey I did a great presentation in your office and she's gonna hug you and say let's go for it let's uh, let's celebrate that and that's what exactly happens for you when you give confident presentation because you become the confident expert not an average expert not a regular expert the confident expert that's my tip for you my name is Vishal Sarkar always reminding you that public speaking is not about perfection it's all about connection